Hey, welcome to my channel. This today's uh, video is going to be on a little tech tip. Uh, I've not seen anything on there. I'm sure there's something. But I've had other people ask me, or I've seen comments about how do you get your decals off your uh, rig. So that's what this is going to be. Subscribe to my channel for more information on other things. Uh, check out my old videos because i got a lot of this already on there. So uh, let's get on with it. Your decals will naturally start coming off after you've been in the sun for a while, but, but it never peels off all the way easily. Naturally. It ain't going to be easy to get it off. You can see how cracked it is up there where the sun is even more so. So. Guess I got to take it off, huh? Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to take off uh, decals here. I'll throw a few pictures on here of why I'm taking them off. Close-ups and such. Uh, one thing you want to wear is gloves. Okay. Now I've tried everything. Let me go get this other stuff. Okay, I've tried Goo Be Gone. Hope that focused in. Anyway, I tried that. I dropped the bottle when it was three quarters full and it broke. But what you got to do, even with the Goo Gone, is you've got to uh, use a, a knife like this. It's a razor. Uh, blade in a holder and I'll show you how that works you got to be careful you don't want to nick the uh, deal now I've let this sit out in the Sun now you just start right here you go like so and it breaks when it comes to a crack see it's got cracks all through it that's why we're taking it off Naturally, any piece that's stuck to you, it won't come off, but it'll stick to the stuff back here. Now, I let it uh, in the sun, warms it up a little bit it's easier. If you try to do this in the cold, it's going to be much difficult, much more difficult. And I tried a heat gun. Well, that works, but it also I don't like how hot it gets everything, including my hands. So the sunlight seems to be the best way to go. That is real sticky there because the glue's still on it. The glue don't come off with the tape. It sticks behind. Okay, cut the decal off. So you notice it didn't take that long. Well, that's because I've been practicing on this whole rig for two or three years. I've been taking a little off, a little off. It's all cracked up. And I've been taking off the worst pieces and trying to figure it all out. Well, I found out that this hand cleaner right here not only takes the stuff off my fingers, it definitely takes the glue off. Because right now that's so sticky, anything will stick to it. So, we can rub this all over. This has got the pumice in it.
Okay, we're gonna let that sit. Gotta go get more of this out of there. Then we're gonna let the sun sit and hit it. And uh, gotta roll up my tarp. All right, here's what I'm using. Fast Orange hand cleaner. Uh, it's got pumice in it. It's really good on the paint. Uh, this is the gritty stuff, not the smooth stuff. I tried the smooth stuff and it worked okay, but this works a lot better and a lot faster. Amazingly faster. I'm gonna go help the wife put the awning back up. Just Thank you, dear. Awning's up, so now the sun's hitting us all this also. Just gonna let this sit here a bit. But while it's sitting there, I'm going to take the knife again. Because there's a dirt residue where the yeah, where the decal was shrinking away anyway, it left a dirt residue. So I'm going to take that off, and you can see it comes right off. Well, don't come off like you would think. I mean, it isn't nothing real easy. But they wanted a thousand dollars to remove these, so I I've been doing it this way. The wife said that was way too much money to spend. And that stuff's sticky. It's getting it off. And it works, it really actually works faster than the, the goo off. And this leaves a protective color, uh, coating on it. Okay, now I'm going to do this again, put more on. I discovered this stuff when I was driving a dump truck hauling asphalt. Because this stuff would take, uh, I'd sit there and wait to unload and have my truck would be white truck covered in little specks of tar. This will take tar off your car too. You believe what, you wouldn't believe what it will take off. Now I'm going to sit and let the sun heat this all up for a while. Okay, once that's uh, heated up, I'm going to take this bug scratcher. Yeah, about two bucks down at your car store. I've already used it and it just works great. But I'm going to let that sit and heat up by the sun a little bit. And I'll probably change out the gloves because they got all this uh, decal on it. And I'm going to shut you down for a minute, but I'll be right back. All right, well, we had a windstorm. Almost blew my camera over, blew my hat off. So, okay, we're going to take the bug scratcher now, and I'm just going to go over it. I'm going to start down here where I started. Yeah, I'm gonna make sure we got most of it off. If we do. I'm gonna put a little more on. It ain't gonna hurt. A little bit more. And believe it or not, the goo off worked. Took more of that, and it made a big mess. So it looks like a lot of work here, but it was a lot of work with the goo off too. Okay. 
Now we're going to take a little water and my sponge, wherever it blew off to. Different kind of sponge. We're going to get it wet. This ain't, gonna, this ain't gonna hurt nothing by running down either because it's, it's just hand cleaner. Now I gotta get in here and I'll get in there with a razor knife and clean that up right there. But that's how you take them off. Right like that. Smooth. No stickiness. And that's why it took me so many years and I'm still not done because I only do a little bit of this and then I'm done for a long time. Let's dry it off. Now, if you feel a rough spot, you just come back with your razor blade, run it over it, see if you can pick any residue up there. There's a little bit, but not much. You've seen what it was before, now it's like that. So, that's how you do it. Okay guys, hey, that's all I'm gonna do for you today. That's a little tip for you. Uh, it took me a long time to figure this out. I did started doing it up in the hills and I was using kerosene and anything I had on board. Then I came down, got good, that go goo, goo gone last year, tried it for a while, then I broke it, and I, and I was using a hand cleaner to clean it up afterwards anyway, so I just skipped that step, and uh, heck, I don't need that step. This works pretty good. And I got people coming over uh, into the season, they're gonna wash and wax this whole thing, so I'll, have to, I'll quit for doing it for this season until it gets filthy again, but I don't, once they get it washed and waxed, I'm not doing no more. Yeah, that's how you do it. For you that wanted to know, that's how I do it. I ain't gonna show you that. I'm tired, it's hot. It's about 90 degrees out here. Yeah, I like it. Good. End of, end of video. Cut, quit, out of here.